You know, there's two things that every garage needs, space and a way to utilize that space so you can store your junk. Well, Spiderweb Modular Storage Solutions has got a way to help you do that. Check it out. They specialize in aluminum shelving in various different sizes and configurations so you can set it up and assemble it in all kinds of different ways, making this perfect for a garage or a shop or a trailer or a paint booth or whatever. The individual shelves are fully adjustable so you can make room for big bottles or short little things. The all metal construction is tough so you can beat it around and you know it's going to last. And they're available in a bunch of different colors if you don't like the aluminum look. If you are serious about utilizing the space in your garage, Spiderweb Storage can help you do that. And now, what are you working on? Brought to you by Spiderweb Modular Storage Solutions. Today's What Are You Working On comes from a young lady named Jocelyn Cote from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And her project is unique because her dad found her a 68 Volkswagen Beetle that had been in a barn for longer than Jocelyn had been alive. And they decided to restore this thing. Now take a look at it. Now the car may look rough, but it didn't have any rust on it. So it was a perfect project. And since this is Jocelyn's first project, they decided to start slow with a good cleanup. Then they put on a new fuel pump and filters, plugs, wires, points, condenser, and completely redid the wiring, which was really hacked up. Now, Jocelyn's dad's been helping her out, but she insists on doing most of the work herself because she wants to learn how to do it. And she admits that she was kind of nervous about doing body work at first until her dad told her there's nothing you can do to this car that can't be fixed. As you can see, she's been hammering out dents and smoothing things down and loving every minute of it. Of course, having a couple dogs as companions is always a good thing, too. Now, the project is not finished yet, but Jocelyn's got big plans for it. She says she wants to put in a bigger engine with dual carbs, put on a modest two-inch drop, and do a disc brake conversion. And she says she's determined to get this thing finished, so she has something to run to the parts store in the junkyard with. I mean, that's actually what she wrote, man. Is this girl great or what? Now, Jocelyn, we can tell by your pictures that your garage is kind of tight. Could probably use some more storage space. So, we are gonna set you up with a whole bunch of shelving from Spiderweb Storage Solutions, so you have all kinds of room to store your parts, your tools, your dog food, whatever you want to put on there so you get it up and organized and out of the way. Also, we're going to give you a Gears fender cover to protect that vehicle when it's all finished. Also, we're going to give you a project build book so you can keep track of what you did on that project once it's finished. And we're going to give you a year subscription to Four Wheeler Magazine so perhaps they can persuade you to turn that beetle into a Baja bug. Uh, that's just something to think about. Now, the rest of you guys, if you want to get in on this, you got to send your project in to What Are You Working On? We will do our best to get it on the air. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Facebook. We've always got some cool stuff happening there, too. All right, that takes care of it for today. I'm sure Jocelyn's heading out the door to work on her beetle, which means it's time for you to get out there and find a project and build something with your own two hands. It's good for what ails you. We'll see you next time. And now, what are you working on? Brought to you by Spiderweb Modular Storage Solutions. Today's What Are You Working On comes from Lynn Rapin from Covington, Washington, and his project is a 69 Camaro. And his history with this car starts way back in 1969. Check this out. Of course, Lynn is the little guy in the picture. That's his dad who bought the car brand new in 1969. And for the last 40 years, Lynn has been lusting for the car. And then finally, on his 40th birthday, his dad gave him the car. But this is what it looked like, because his dad had been thrashing on it for 40 years, but Lynn didn't care. He started working on the thing. He said the first thing he did is he tore the rear end out, stuck in a nine inch Ford with 35 spline axles. Then up front, he put on big block springs. He put on drilled and slotted disc brakes. And for an engine, he stuffed in a 496 big block 
And to keep the thing from twisting and axle hopping, he put in subframe connectors and traction bars. Now, he said the body was in pretty good shape in the floor, but the fenders, eh, they were pretty rusty. So he ended up replacing the metal in the rear fenders, replacing the front fenders, and completely redoing the interior. But when it was done, this is what he ended up with. A Daytona Yellow 69 Camaro. And now it's his dad that's lusting for the car. Which means, Lynn, it's your turn to stick the $100 bill on the dash and see if your dad can grab it. Now, to recognize such a cool project, we're gonna set up your shop with a whole bunch of this spider web storage units so you have room to keep parts and equipment and tools and all the stuff that you got laying around your garage. Also, we're gonna give you a project build book so you can keep track of what you've done to that car. And we're gonna give you a year subscription to Hot Rod Magazine so you can get some more ideas on what to do to the car. Then we're gonna give you a Gears fender cover so you can protect that paint when you're out there working on it. Now, the rest of you guys, if you wanna get your project featured on the show, you gotta send it into what you're working on. We'll do our best to get it on the air. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Facebook because we've always got a bunch of stuff going there too. All right, that takes care of it for today. I got a bunch of stuff to work on here. John Godwin's got stuff to do to his truck. That means you need to get out there and start working on something. We'll see you next time. And now, what are you working on? Brought to you by Spiderweb Modular Storage Solutions. Today's What Are You Working On comes from Gary Silvis from Sardinia, Ohio. And Gary's been building vehicles for a long time, but he's always wanted to race a streamliner at Bonneville. Saw him as a kid, always wanted to do one. So he set a goal for himself. He wanted to build, design, and drive his own vehicle over 200 miles an hour using a motorcycle engine for power. So, he started working. He and his dad built a table and they started laying out tubing. And as you can see, it's a very unique design. He put the two rear wheels in line with each other instead of side by side. This keeps the car very slender. It's only 30 inches wide. Now up front, the two wheels are side by side with a very unique suspension. And then everything was covered with sheet metal to help it slip through the air better. Now, Gary says it took him about a year of intense work to put this thing together. He had a lot of help from his dad and his sister and his friends. But the first time out, he ran 119 miles an hour. And since that time, he's been up to 168. Now, he's still working on going faster. He's going to put nitrous on soon. And he's going to cross that 200 mile an hour barrier. Gary, you let us know when you do. And for sending in such a cool project and the fact that we know that you're going to need some more storage space, we're gonna set you up with a bunch of shelving from Spiderweb Modular Storage Solutions. Now this will allow you to get all those parts up off the floor and get them on the shelves. And you can take this stuff in your trailer to the racetrack and that'll help you out there too. Also, we're gonna give you a year subscription to Four Wheeler Magazine to get you into that four wheel drive world a little bit. And we're gonna give you a project build book and a fender cover so you can keep track of your project and protect it when you're working on it. Now for the rest of you guys, if you wanna get in on this, you got to send your project into What Are You Working On? We'll do our best to get it on the air. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Facebook. We've always got cool stuff going on there. And keep checking back on the website because we've got some new books coming out to help you with your project so you can finish it and get out there and enjoy it like Gary's doing. All right, that takes care of it for today. It's time for you to get out there and start working on something. We'll see you next time. <laughs>